Alrighty. Check. So now, I'm gonna talk to Tony. Hello. Does River Heights have any shortcuts that most people don't know about? Shortcuts? No. They're the tunnels, but those are locked up as far as I know. Tunnels? Yeah, from back when everyone was worried about the Cold War. They've been locked for as long as I can remember. Doubt you could find your way in if you tried. I'll let you go. Bye. At this point, I'm going to call Nancy's dad. Hello? Have you found out anything about Tony and the town hall deal? Nothing concrete. So you did find out something. Nancy, promise me you're not going to take what I'm about to say as proof that she's some grand mastermind. I love when you give me a disclaimer. That means you've got something good, doesn't it? According to a friend of a friend, she's the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Meaning? Meaning if something were to happen to free up that land, say, a fire, for example, she stands to profit. How much? Let's just say enough. I knew it! This isn't proof, Nancy. It's motive, but not proof. Unless you're 100% sure that it's her, take caution. <laughs> Don't I always? Uh, no. Rarely to never is more like it. I hope that helped. Of course. Alexei's been pretty helpful. Do you think I should trust him? He's got every right to be mad at me. But, if anyone knows what you're going through right now, it'd be him. I always say you should trust your instincts. But if it were me, I'd listen to what he says. I should get going. I'll see you soon. Alright. And now that Nancy's dad has told us that, we can now confront Tony about it. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? My father tells me you're the majority shareholder in the Heights development. Technically. I have investments in that and other local organizations. Does that mean you could benefit from the sale of the land if it was no longer protected? I don't care for that implication. Yes, I could make money from the sale, but I invested in the property, which was languishing, by the way, as an act of public service. I think you set the fire on purpose to cash in on your investment. You think I set the fire? What is it? What is it about this town? I swear, working in city government is like posting a big sign that reads, Hi there, crazy people. Please drop in any time. But you'd benefit from the building burning down. That establishes your motive. Yeah. Book yourself a room on that sinking ship and tell me how it turns out. When disaster strikes, people always look at the beneficiary. Always. Regardless of what you think of me. I'm not the type to burn down a building, and I'm really not the type to set myself up to be the main suspect. Can you prove that? You can't prove a negative. I don't have to prove that I'm innocent. You, on the other hand... Bye. Goodbye. Okay, and because you confronted Tony about that, um, doing that wasn't necessary, but you were going to get an award at the end of the game. Of that. Now we're going to go talk to Alexa. Nancy, I need to ask. Why did you trust me right away? Your friends didn't. We sleuths have to stick together. Plus, my father said you were worth trusting. He did? He did. Well, that's... that's just... I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm surprised to hear that, I guess. I'm stuck. Do you have any advice from your detective days? Times were different back then. The town's a lot nicer these days. You used to have lots of crooks running around in those tunnels. Tunnels? Yeah, there's a whole network of tunnels under the town. They say they're from the Cold War, but they're even older. Built by smugglers and the like. And the city turned them into a fallout shelter in the 50s. How do I find my way in? I don't know if I should help you with that. The tunnels are very dangerous. I have to find a way into the tunnels. My case depends on it. I see. You know, Nancy, when I was younger, I used to love to read. A good book always gave me great ideas. There's a book over there you should check out. I really don't have time for that. There's always time for this book. 
I always brought it with me on my adventures as a kid. You'll want to read it cover to cover. See you later. Good day. Okay, um, I just realized that while well, it's not required, um, Bess never talked to Alexei, so we're gonna actually let her talk to Alexei, and you'll see what happens. Thank you for calling Bess. Leave Bess a message. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, well, if I had... I guess now that we have Nancy, we might just switch between characters anymore. Uh, oh, oh, well, I'm just go talk to Bez. Hi. Have you heard about the tunnels running under the town? Just in stories from when we were kids. The boys in grade school always used to say that there were freaky, glow-in-the-dark sewer mutants down there, and that they hated me. Clearly not true. But on the off chance that they do exist, I'm not going down there. I'll let you go. Bye. Hmm. had switched to Bass before Nancy was out of jail and she came to Alexa and she would have broken this vase right here, this green vase, and then Alexei would have gotten really mad at her. Um, so you can do that when you play the game if you want to. It's not really required. It's just a little tidbit that um, I didn't do in this game. Okay, the book's right here. It's called Dust and Dirt. Alexi said cover to cover. There must be a code on the book's cover. It's a coded guide for getting around the tunnels. Woohoo, this is very helpful. You will most definitely need this later on. Alexi's guide said there'd be a tunnel entrance right outside the antique shop. All right, so we're gonna call Brenda and get her to come out of her van. Nine action news tip line for Brenda Carlton. Please speak clearly when prompted to report breaking news in the North River Heights area. Say yes, otherwise say no. No. To report breaking news in the East River Heights area, say yes, otherwise say no. No. To report breaking news in the South River Heights area, say yes, otherwise say no. Yes. You have indicated a breaking news story in the South River Heights area. Brenda Carlton will be notified directly. Goodbye. Alright, the tunnels are supposed to be around here somewhere. What? What is this? This must be how Brenda gets around town so quickly. So, Brenda knows about the tunnel. Very interesting. Ooh. Her interactive likes to put tunnels and secret passages and stuff in all their games. Fortunately, this game isn't this game's tunnels aren't that hard to navigate around. And now we're at the town hall. So the tunnel from Brenda's van opens up a town hall. So, very suspicious. Did that! Did that! So we're going to go... confront her about it. I'm pretty sure we just have to leave and come back. Hello, Nancy. You're the one who left me the notes, aren't you? Yes. You lured me to Town Hall. You led me to that room. All I need to know now is whether you were trying to frame me or trying to kill me. They both would have made a great story. You won't get away with this. You and I both know you have no proof. I've got your fingerprints, and I... And I'll be on the air before you know it. 
spinning your story so hard that every potential juror in this town will be itching to lock you up and throw away the key. Far from it. I'm going to make sure everyone in this town finds out who you really are. Look, you do what you want. If I were you, I'd take my head start and book myself a flight out of the country. I'm not the type to run away. Before you say that, I'd take a good long look at Alexi. That man's sad, broken down, lonely life in that grimy old store is your future if you stay. Your choice. This is about the antiquity show, isn't it? This is about you. You know who screws up my leads? You. You know who gets in my way? You. You know who I'm sick of? Precious. Special. Nancy Drew. I'm going to love watching this town turn its back on you. Okay. So that's not good. So we have to find a way to stop Brenda. Hello. I need help stopping Brenda. She's trying to frame me. If we don't learn from the mistakes of history, you have to fight fire with fire. She's going to go after you with everything she's got until you show the world how rotten she is. Don't let her get away. Don't run away. Fight her head on. Find a way to turn this around on her. I know you can do it. I'll let you go. Bye. We're going to try to see if anyone else will help us. Hi. It's Brenda. She's framing me, and she's about to go on the air to make things even worse. I knew I hated her for a good reason. What do we do? I don't know. I'm going to have to stop that broadcast. Bye. Bye. Okay, now we're going to have a very funny exchange with Bess. I've been sitting here trying to figure out what I could do to help you, and I have no idea what to do. What do I do? I don't know yet. Stay here. I'll let you know if I need anything. You got it. I'll sit here. Panicking. I don't think I can just stay here. I, I don't know what to do, though. What should I do? Just try to stay calm. I am calm. See? Calm. It may look and sound like I'm freaking out, but I am not. I am calm. I am in my zen place. Nancy, I lied. I'm freaking out. It's going to be okay, Bess. We'll figure this out. Okay. Okay. You're right. I'm cool. I have a plan. What's your plan? We change our names, and we move to France. I will work in a record shop, and you can team up with the gendarmerie and solve crimes. I don't know what George will do yet. That sounds a little drastic. No, it's perfect. I will ride around with a baguette and a basket of my bike, and I will date a guy who wears turtlenecks, but it will be okay because he's French, and we will never have problems ever again. <laughs> okay, let's just call that plan B for now. I'll pack you a bag. Not that you'll need it, but you might need it. Okay, I think that's it for that exchange. Hi. Yeah. That's Bye. It. Talk to you later. But that's funny. Yes. Hello. I know it's Brenda that started the fire. She set me up. Ha! Good. I'm glad it's someone awful. You have proof? I'm working on it. I wish I could help you. She's the worst. The absolute worst. She's only got that job because of her dad and because she's good at shortcuts or something. What do you mean by Brenda being good at shortcuts? She's got to be. She's always there before anyone else. That's all she's got going. I'll let you go. See ya! Okay. Now we're gonna talk to Tony. Hello, how can I help you? Brenda's the one who set the fire. You've gotta help me. Do I? I don't think that I do. You just asked us You're if you wanted to help us. You're fine with letting her get away with this? Do you know how hard it is to get things done with you around? You and your friends always snooping around, causing trouble. We don't cause trouble. We expose troublemakers. When you're stuck cleaning up the mess, it doesn't make a difference. I can't believe you're not going to help me stop Brenda. You'll get used to the idea. Bye. Goodbye. I thought you'd be skipping town. Maybe you should do that. Oh, did you think I was going to help you now? I'm really not going to. 
Sorry, still not gonna help you. Now let me get back to work. Uh, okay. So, Tony knows that we're innocent, but still refuses to help us. So that's awesome. Okay, um, we're coming up to the end here. So, maybe one more video or two more videos. We'll see. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.